The sheep has been away from home for six years. They had to put effort to shake off his heavy wool. When people find him, the wool has covered the sheep's body. Only half of his face is revealed. We can tell that his wandering life these past few years has been extremely difficult. The sheep didn't want the owner to shave off his wool. So, he decided to escape from the farm. The wrong choice made him live without support. At first, he had the will to be free, but now his life has turned into a mess. He can't even pay for a haircut. We heard that the local rescue team saved him from the cliffside. People guessed that the reason he wasn't eaten in the wild is probably because of his thick wool. Anyway, even he doesn't know how to deal with it. Right now, he looks like a walking blanket. To help him be a sheep again, the farm owner decides to free him from the burden he's carrying. But the heavy thick wool on his body makes it difficult for the sheep to move. They need the strength of two people to bring him down. Due to loss of balance, the sheep falls down. The other sheep look at him for a while yet they fail to realize that he's also a sheep. Even the dog which is introverted now runs out to watch. At the moment, the sheep can't help but lower his head. He has lost his arrogance that year. Leading a wandering life for many years changes his appearance. The thick wool weighs heavily, making it difficult for the sheep to breathe. It's also not easy for him to see clearly. However, he finally gets home. The owner then shaves off all the wool to remove his burden. The amount of wool gradually accumulates and attaches to his body. The owner is old so he can't help but feel exhausted when he does the work. Half an hour later, his head is finally revealed. The sheep was docile during the whole process. He just sits still and obediently enjoy this. Because the sheep's wool hasn't been shaved for six years, most of that has stuck together in large patches. His owner can only use scissors to cut them off. Then he continues by using the shaver. After two hours of shaving, the sheep finally gets rid of the heavy wool he has carried for six years. After pruning a few times, they shaved more than 35 kilograms of wool. It's hard to imagine how his life has been during these past years. In order to prevent the sheep from getting a cold after shaving, the owner gives him a new outfit, then brings him back to where he was six years ago. At the moment, the sheep is so hungry. As soon as he sees the grass, he begins to eat a lot. The wandering life makes his face imprinted with the traces of time. At the moment, he finally comes back home. Fresh grass is still the same taste. Every piece he eats, he can't help but feel so happy. Looking at the old house that is both familiar and unfamiliar to him, he starts thinking about his choice six years ago. The world outside is interesting. His eyes are filled with different memories. His baby face has also become wrinkled with time. In the herd of sheep, he looks so lonely. And he knows the reason. Time flows like water. The story of six years ago feels like it was just yesterday. But he soon ceased to be the sheep of the past. The uncle is surrounded by a pack of raccoons. Yesterday, a cute raccoon came to visit his house. So, the uncle gave him a sausage. Unexpectedly, a gaze of raccoons gathers to knock on his door the next night. He looks out and only sees a large black patch. Can't count how many raccoons are outside the door. The uncle is about to take the grapes that he bought in the morning to give them. Within two minutes, they have finished the barrel of grapes. Two raccoons in the gaze are still fighting for a grape. They gather to this place, so as to eat the uncle's food, to make sure the raccoons will be on a full stomach. The uncle even prepares a box of sausages for them to eat. The raccoons, seeing the food in the uncle's hand, immediately flock to them. At a glance, there are more than 30 raccoons in the gaze. Good job, they aren't bringing their whole family to scrounge a free meal off him, are they? They eagerly line up to wait for the uncle to deliver the sausages. As soon as they receive the food, they immediately run over to enjoy it. The raccoons are also delight. They all line up in order to wait for the uncle's food. At the moment, the uncle can't help but feel happy. He has lived in the mountains for decades. Then suddenly a raccoon came to visit, making him witness such a hilarious scene for the first time. He quickly divides all the sausages. But the raccoons are still not satisfied. It seems that they still want some more. The uncle decides to give these raccoons a square meal. He treats them all the cherry tomatoes from his refrigerator. But these are just enough for raccoons to floss their teeth. In the blink of an eye, there is nothing left on the floor. At the moment, the uncle comes out again. These sausages are my entire property. The raccoons stare at the sausage in the uncle's hand. He hasn't sat down yet. The raccoons suddenly surround him again. The uncle divides the sausages one by one for them. He doesn't even know where these raccoons come from. It's also rare to see one on normal days. Do they gather to celebrate Tet today? The raccoon in the back constantly touches the uncle's shoulder. Don't just divide them. I've been waiting here for so long and where's my part? The uncle hurriedly gives him one. The mischievous raccoon finally gets the sausage he wants. It only took five minutes for all the sausages to be divided. The uncle said it was time for them to go home. But the raccoons think that the uncle came in to get food. They keep waiting for him outside the door. Half an hour has passed, as if in the blink of an eye. But the raccoons don't leave. The uncle has to bring out a box of cookies. Seeing delicious food, the raccoons immediately cheer up. The uncle pours the cookies on the ground. The raccoons are still not picky. We can't know how long they've been hungry. Afraid of the raccoons not eating enough. The uncle takes the remaining cat food in the house and divides it among the raccoons. That's probably enough, right? If it's not enough, he'll give up. Please comment if you find raccoons cute. The raccoons all ate their fill. They think they have found a source of food supply for them in the future. But the cat in the house is not happy. He stands still looking at his food outside the door. You gave them all my food. So, what can I eat now? 
Thinking of this, the pitiful cat lowers his head. The uncle returns and comforts him. Tomorrow I will go buy paid for you to eat. After hearing that, the cat only shakes his head and turns away. His angry look is so funny. The cat seems to be still annoyed. He angrily paces up and down the kitchen. Although the cat in the house isn't in the mood. Today is the uncle's happiest day. Please hit the like button for the kind uncle. Hope you can spend more time with the elderly. Animal protection is a topic that is never out of date. Goodbye all. See you again. In the video, a horse's head is facing down. His whole body is stuck in the middle of the rock. We can imagine how much he has suffered from the hunger and pain in the rainy weather. Luckily, he is found by a solo traveler. The kind man realizes he is in danger. So, he quickly takes out the rope from his car. Wants to use it to pull the rock out and save the horse. After fastening the rope, the man notices that the direction the rock will fall down is towards his car. To prevent himself and the car from being affected, he has to find another way. The stranded horse sees a human appear. He lets out a cry for help. He really wants to get rid of this pain. In this harsh situation, not only does the horse suffer from the scorching heat of the sun, but he also has to endure the torment of hunger and the cold wind blowing at night. If he didn't meet this man, he would starve to death. The man comes in front of the horse, estimates the weight of the rock, and intends to use his strength to remove it. If you are watching him trying to save the horse, and you haven't gone yet, then please give him a heart button to cheer the horse on and leave. May you have instant success in the comments. I believe that in the future, you will achieve success. Everything goes well, thanks to his persistent efforts. The rock is finally removed. He spares no effort to push the rock out. The horse that has been pressed for a long time is free from the burden. Although he is very weak, he still stands up instinctively. The horse just stands in place and doesn't leave, quietly looking at his life savior. Even though he can't speak, he will forever remember the man for saving his life. All beings have souls. A koala bursts into the house. But right now, there's a girl bathing in the pool. The girl looks at the koala, being confused, seeing him looking at her. The girl shyly lowers herself into the pool. Anyway, this is a private swimming pool. The girl doesn't even know what to do. But apparently, the cute koala doesn't mean anything bad. As the girl boldly goes to say hello to him, she realizes he just wants to drink water. So, she slaps some water on him. Because he can't drink much, she immediately uses both hands to collect water and give it to him. Eventually, the koala drinks up the water she gave him. Now she understands why he broke into this place. He only raises his head when he gets enough water. The girl also laughs happily. She doesn't expect the koala that broke into her house. To be this cute, the girl enthusiastically responds to him. After that, she wraps a towel around her waist, and once again goes to say hello to the koala. Unexpectedly, the koala is attracted to the girl's beauty, while the girl politely interacts with him. Seeing the cute koala, the beautiful girl can't help but caress his head. The koala is docile and doesn't move at all. It looks like his outing has an unexpected harvest. That is to be able to meet such a kind person. Then he starts to act cute, and almost kisses the girl. Even the editor doesn't dare to keep on watching them. The koala is so happy. Being stroked makes him shy. The koala may look calm on the outside. But in fact, he is in seventh heaven. His bewildered look is so cute. If you think the girl is kind, please comment below. It's almost time to eat. The baby koala has to go home now. He doesn't pick the main road. Instead, he goes on the mountain road. After the man picked up the trash can, he suddenly found two cute baby otters inside. He's so lucky. This is the kind of pet that many people want to keep but can't. Yet he was able to pick up even a duo of otters. The baby otters felt extremely scared when they were discovered. Their fearful eyes could be an inspiration for a meme too. Seeing the man keep caressing him, one of the baby otters quickly backed away to dodge. The man picked him up, which scared the otter to the point that he stiffened. Still, he looked so cute when crouching his head down. The man said this larger baby otter was a male, and this smaller one was a female. So, it's understandable that she was lighter than him. But the little otter was clearly malnourished. If you put them close, you can tell the difference. After bringing the otters back home, the man wanted to measure their weight. First, he got the bigger otter out. Moreover, he didn't forget to prove that. This one was actually a male. The man's actions made the otter angry. His face couldn't hide his hatred. If you want to measure my weight, do it properly. What's wrong with your hands? Why do you keep touching me? Eventually, the result showed that he weighed 557 grams. The man then took the smaller otter out. Her eyes were still the same as the male otter. When you look at her, you know she hates the man. After placing the baby otter on the scale, her weight was measured at 370 grams. Nearly 200 grams lighter than her older brother. The man felt worried that she might be malnourished. So, he rushed to get some milk powder for the puppies. Then poured that into the blender. And put in a handful of seeds. The last step was to pour some water. Then closed the lid and pureed. That's how a full glass of protein came out. After the baby otter took a sip, she got extremely excited. And kept looking for bottle nipple. She must have been so hungry. And looked so cute even when she was just drinking milk. Her little hand didn't stop reaching for the milk bottle.
When it comes to her brother's turn, he was even more hilarious than his younger sister. His trembling little hands proved how hungry he felt. He drank up the milk in the blink of an eye. After the man took the milk bottle away, it seemed that the baby otter hadn't drunk his fill. He constantly looked for another milk bottle. The man then squeezed out every last drop for him to drink. After being taken care of for a few days, the baby otters have become fully dependent on the man. Being two adorable otters, they know that if they don't know how to swim, they won't gain respect from the man. So, the man made a swimming pool in the yard and poured water inside. Then he used his feet to check the water's temperature. Eventually, he hugged the otters outside. Under the man's meticulous care, the duo doesn't hate him anymore. Instead, they become joined at the hip just like the Super Glue 502. Wherever he goes, they follow. The way they run and jump is so cute. The man puts one otter in the pool first. The baby otter is bewildered for a moment. This is their first time in the water, and is also an amazing experience. They gradually get used to the water. The man then throws down a ball, making the two baby otters excited. They have so much fun that they forget to go home. The man wants to let them practice their skills in the water. So, he goes to catch some baby fish. He plans to use them and train baby otters in survival skills. One day, they will grow up and have to go back into the wild. It's important for them to have survival skills. The man pours the fry into the pool. Yet that doesn't draw the attention of the two otters. The fry has already swum a hundred laps in the pool, which these two don't realize. After nearly an hour, the otter catches a small fry but doesn't eat it. Don't they know this can be eaten? The man picks up a fry and puts it right in her mouth. After the baby otter tries to chew it, she ends up spitting the fry out. They probably don't like to eat this kind of food. Obviously, we are at the age of drinking powdered milk. Why do you keep making us eat fry? How can we digest it? Wanting to release them back into the wild is a good thing. But the man can't be in such a hurry. After all, they are still babies. This short-tailed weasel is curious to see the outside world. Her little ruffled head looks so cute. The man holds her with his hand. The weasel even knows to rub her head in the man's hand. She probably looks upon the man as her mother. Where did this weasel come from? While the man was climbing a mountain, he came across a short-tailed weasel. She was abandoned by her mother. When the man found her, her eyes haven't opened yet. The man named the weasel, Whisper. In order to save Whisper, every day, he will feed her once every three hours. Using a syringe, the little weasel lies nicely in his arms, just like a fluffy baby, which melts everyone's heart, to make sure he can save her life. The man takes care of the weasel round the clock. His work requires so much patience and carefulness. He carefully wipes the weasel's mouth after feeding her with milk. Whisper grows fast. A week later, she opens one eye. Whisper now gets used to being in the palm of the man's hand. She loves lying in such a warm place. The man says she grew really fast. However, she should have her own nest. So, he knits a sleeping bag for Whisper. In that warm sleeping bag, she can have a better sleep. Until the seventh week, she finally has opened both eyes, and begins to be curious about the outside world. The man told her, she's still a little girl, yet she's growing, so, he should give her personal space. He's truly a responsible father. He has already looked upon Whisper as his own daughter. He really loves her, how cute. However, as the weasel is growing, the man thinks he should move her to a separate room. This little bag is her nest. He puts the bag inside the glass cabinet. This is her personal space. From now on, she will live here. Whisper starts exploring everything around her. She's really inquisitive. She also has some small toys with her. The weasel quickly adapts to her surroundings. She becomes playful. Just look at her bewildered expression. What an adorable weasel. The man comes across another abandoned short-tailed weasel again. Whisper now has a friend. They're looking at each other. It was a bit awkward at first, but they soon get along. At the moment, Whisper is already a nine-week-old weasel. Her look has changed a lot. She also becomes more active than before. The day when the man lets her go is getting closer and closer. But that doesn't mean just releasing her. The first thing to do is to leave her in a safe place, gradually adapting to the outside world. This place is a model habitat for short-tailed weasels. She lies nicely in the man's hand. Then he puts her in a small box. He firmly believes the weasel will stay here to begin her preliminary adaptation training. It seems that she feels unfamiliar with this place. Whisper and her friend explore everywhere. As his daughter grows up, the man can't put her in his hand. Like the old days, he has to stay away from his babies, so as to enhance short-tailed weasels' vigilance over humans. This is the most important thing when releasing animals. The two weasels start looking for food. This place is quite safe. After a few days of adaptation, they become more confident and might get used to the outside world. The man took away her sleeping bag and replaced it with a nest made of straw. In the coming days, don't think about sleeping with blankets, kids. Life is getting harder and harder. After a month, the man opens the door. The weasels can go back to their natural world and enjoy their true freedom. Even though he doesn't want to leave them, he has to do this for his babies. Unexpectedly, Whisper loves his house so much. She returns only after two months of being released. Whisper even comes to the back of his house to play. She also doesn't want to leave the man. 
The man finally allows the weasels to come here whenever they want. This is always your home. A group of people are pulling an elephant's teeth. One man holds a saw blade diligently working. The silent elephant lies there. Obviously, he was drugged. Can you believe they are treating the elephant? This elephant has tooth decay. His toothache has been extremely serious. Furthermore, the elephant's teeth were infected. Can be said that the elephant is always in pain. So, they have to unleash their magic. Everyone decides to pull his teeth for him. They prepare tools and start injecting him with anesthetics. A small tube of medicine like this is enough to put everyone here to sleep. But the elephant is able to hold on for a while and then fall down. It's not easy to extract an elephant's tooth. The first is to adjust his posture. The man immediately removes the decayed tooth for him. Then starts sawing the teeth into small pieces. Surely those of you who have had a tooth extraction know this feeling. Another man with a hammer comes over. Then hit the elephant's teeth. While another man uses a saw blade. Because there was a serious infection. His teeth have begun to deform. The root part of the tooth is stuck. Which makes it difficult for them to pull teeth out. People worked for an hour. But still can't move anything. The rescuers now face a difficult case in their careers. In the end, there is no other way. The man has to drill a small hole into the stuck part. Allow the inflamed area in the oral cavity to collapse. After the elephant woke up, he feels much better. He's also happy to eat food. Several months later, the man is ready to finish work. To conduct tooth extraction for the elephant. Fortunately, the tooth is now loose. First, he uses a drill to drill the cavity of the tooth. Just looking at it makes me feel pain. The uncle then tries his best to pull the teeth out. So tired that his hair turns gray. Finally, they got the tooth pulled out. So, what can the extracted tooth be used for? This is a steep cliff. 20 to 30 meters tall. And its slope is up to 80 to 90 degrees. A black goat gets stuck on the ridge of the cliff. In this difficult situation, once you fall, there's definitely no way out. According to the people around, the black goat has been stuck there for 10 days. Because the goat has a unique texture of the hooves. So, she often climbs up and down. And even live on cliffs. The rescue team assumes, if she's living on that cliff. But this assumption is quickly disproved. Because if she lives like this, she can't stay up there for 10 days in a row. And it seems that the black goat is slowly moving. With the desire to get out of this place. Yet she retreats before he can take two steps. The space under her feet is too small. She can't sit down to rest. On the opposite cliff, there are her companions. She screams. Hope to get some help from her friends. The goat's friends hear her. They quickly run down. But the cliff is too steep. They can't do anything, apart from seeing the goat in trouble from afar. The doctor says, looking up from this angle, he can see that the goat's belly has swollen. It's highly likely that she's pregnant. Rescuers begin the rescue. The plan is to start from above, and gradually go down to the goat's position. Then puts him in the grid. Also, to prevent the goat from falling. They spread some tarps on the bottom. Everything is ready. Rescuers slowly slide down, but the net suddenly breaks. The goat falls down the mountain from a height of about 20 meters. She doesn't fall on the thick mattress. But luckily, the net holds her. Then the vet gives her a checkup right away. Her heartbeat and breathing are normal. To verify the vet's original conjecture, they quickly examine the goat's womb. Indeed, there are signs of having a baby goat, standing there for 10 days without eating or drinking. So, she just lies motionless. Her pulse is weak. The vet says she looks fine, but still needs another checkup. They give the goat water to drink. Then take her back to the hospital for a careful examination. Through the ultrasonic screen, they can see the baby goat in her womb. The doctor informs them that she has two baby goats now and is about to give birth. The baby goat's condition is stable. The doctor then examines thoroughly both the mother and her baby goats again. They are all safe. The doctor thinks it's a miracle that both the mother goat and her baby goats are safe. Because when examining the mother goat's womb, he finds it empty, stuck on a cliff without eating, and had no place to move and rest. But the mother goat still, tried to survive even when she didn't eat or drink for 10 days. Because of her babies, motherhood is truly great. After a few days of treatment, the black goat has fully recovered. Today is the day she returns to the wild. Her home is still that hillside. And her friends are there too. As soon as people open the cage, the black goat runs to her friends. They have been waiting for her for a long time. The man watches the goat's happy reunion. From afar then expresses that. Rescuing this pregnant mother goat. Is the most meaningful thing he has ever done in his life.